Okay, today let, let's talk about is VR really the future? I think 10 years ago, I uh, had been listening a lot of people talking about VR and say it will be future, uh, be, be the future and how awesome uh, it was. And I didn't really uh, pay too much attention and I think that's most likely the hype. I'm really anti don't like hypes. So I didn't pay attention to that. And until three years ago, uh, I started to hear more, more and more of my friends talking and uh, also experienced the, the VR, uh, VR game. It's like uh, VR uh, first shooter games. Uh, it's like the com VR combat game. Uh, everyone wear the VR devices and um, uh, just uh, uh, perform the task or fight with each other. It's not the great experience, but it kind of uh, different, different from just playing your video games on your computer. And if some in certain scene, if you real, uh, for example, it, it, it was a scene that uh, simulated you are walking on a skyscraper and it's very uh, narrow, uh, have very very narrow uh, corridors. It basically, I was walking on the wall uh, outside the building of the outside the skyscraper, and just a very narrow space. I can operate my operation, and it was quite scary. If I look down, I see st I it was maybe hun over hundred floor high. It's just certain, 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 like real, and so I do. What I want to say is, VR does provide certain things, certain thing that other technology, uh, current technology couldn't provide. But the problem is uh, how how much value it actually provides. It's basically unknown. And um, uh, let me just ask you one question: Have you know any any of your friends they play in VR? over three hours a day, over three hours a day. Probably very rare, probably none. So that's the, the way of make sure if that's a hype. So far, I do I do think it's still in the hype. I think it's not even a hype because people already, a lot of people think we are already under deliver. But uh, yes, at least we know so far now uh, the engagement of VR games is very low. Even those heavy gamers, heavy VR gamers, they only play like one two hours a day. This doesn't like your phone. The, when the smartphone first came out, a lot of people actually spend their three, four, five hours a day on their smartphone. Even there was just a small number of people, but the engagement was super high. But now VR. Yes, there are a small number of users, niche users, usually gamers, but they also don't really play VR very intensely. So I do um, doubt that VR may be a, a next mainstream. But I think I think this problem issue from the other angle is like people involved from text, uh, picture, and the video, the text, the like Facebook, they time. Facebook dominated the text, social me social media. If you remember, at first actually people publishing only most like the text posts, and after that, uh, we involved to the picture picture first, social media. So Instagram, Facebook also adapt to the pictures, and now we involved to uh, video first, TikTok, YouTube. But what can we involve next? I cannot think of any, except for. VR. So that's the reason I, I, I am kind of uh, still uh, look forward to to VR technology because so far I didn't see any other technology that can deliver something more than videos. Yeah, and the VR is definitely a good candidate, but definitely the engagement now is low and the number of users uh, is very low. Um. One reason is definitely the VR so far is just too heavy. Even the uh, the Quest, the Quest Two is the most advanced te technology, but it is still like too heavy weight for 
for the general users. For gamers, for early adopters, that's already awesome. But for the general public, it is still too much. And you also need to set up, it's not set up your room, but you need to adapt later the Crest devices, VR devices to understand the layout of your room to build out the VR, VR environment so that you would not hit your uh, furniture. But that's too much for 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 general public. Imagine your uh, maybe your parents, uh, uh, your grandparents, uh, will they adapt if they the setup for VR is just like so sophisticated? No, not really. And I think the early adopter will be uh, 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 young adults and uh, uh, children, but. Uh, that's always the technology. Te technology always comes from young people. Uh, always adapted first by the young people. But uh, VR so far haven't seen this trend yet. Uh, still only the gamers. So the next trend, the next step for VR is probably to take on the real gamer market. Not only the narrow, like early adopter gamers. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, what we can observe first. Because for m most gamers, most gamers are still playing on their mobile phone, their computers, like playing like Fortnite, PUBG. Uh, very few of them really play on VR. The, the the one that play on VR is really like niche thing, like VR chat or VR chat is very popular, but that's only for 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 very small niche users. Okay, so that's just my rambling about VR and. Uh, I am still very excited about VR technology uh, as it evolving every year. Yeah, that's probably maybe it's on a turning point. We don't know, but yeah, let's just uh, keep uh, monitor this technology. So that's all for that's all for today. Yeah, and if you would like to receive more content like this, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, I will see you next time.